I went to Lake Santitla on a mini vacation. Could not find out much about the lake in the videos on YouTube, so I thought I would make one myself. We stayed in the Doc Holiday House, which is available on Airbnb. Very nice accommodations. They have a dock, and I'm hoping to get to use the place again. The red dot is about where the house is we stayed. It is located on a peninsula in the lake that is Lake Santitla. Many houses are on it. On the rest of the lake, not so much. We met my brother and his wife there, and we had a mini vacation together. We got the opportunity to explore the lake together. Where my boat was sitting, tied to the dock, the water was 10 feet deep and crystal clear. That was what I found everywhere in the lake that I went. Trees laying down under the boat, I was able to see the entire tree. Coming out of the cove that the dock for our house was located, going into the lake, to the right was the dam. I was told that the water in the lake was 250 feet deep. This is the area I fished on my first trip out. It was very disheartening. I don't think I seen a fish for two hours. By the way, this is the second week in April. My favorite lure this time of year is a Rapala. I tried that. I tried everything in my tackle box. I couldn't get them to hit nothing. The second day, I figured something out. I started out early in the morning, and I figured out that if I'd throw the Rapala as far as I could in front of the boat and let it land and jerk it twice and then reel it in, and I had my foot on the trolling motor going just as fast as I could, and I'd throw it as far as I could again and jerk it a couple of times, and you could see the fish coming from way away to go after the lure. I cannot explain to you how clear the water is. I was looking on Google Earth and I seen some underwater islands. I went and explored those also. We ran into a couple of guys who were getting ready to put their boat on the trailer. They showed me the lure they were using. It was a small finesse worm, fished wacky style, and they had a nice mess of fish. Here are some of the places I fished, so I have a lot more of the lake to explore. Also, my depth finder was not working, so on my next trip I am looking forward to seeing some, a lot of new stuff with my depth finder. I am somewhat annoyed at the fact that Navionics does not have a contour map of this lake. I have a Navionics program on my iPad and no information from that is on the Navionics on my iPad. It was a very nice lake and hopefully I will get to visit it again next year and spend a little bit more time on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe next year I'll make another one. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.